Just let us live by the river and fish and be free. Indian people everywhere are beginning to look back for the strength and wisdom that was theirs long before the white man came with his promises. For many tribes and nations, people are traveling around the country sharing knowledge of their Indian teachings and news of their struggle for Indian rights. Some of the people who came to Frank's Landing stayed to help. Everybody decided to join in a united stand on the Puyallup River. The Puyallup Tribal Council had discovered a tiny piece of land in Tacoma between the railroad tracks and the sewage treatment plant that had never been sold and was still Puyallup Reservation. Here they set up a camp and announced that they were going to fish and protect their nets with armed guards. The Indian people are beginning to realize that there's nobody going to stand up and fight for them, that we've got to do it ourselves, and we're realizing this. They're starting to realize, you know, that they shouldn't go in the army and, and you know, everything else. Sid and Suzette Mills went to live in the Puyallup camp. It's going to take, you know, for Indian people to get away from the United States. To be a sovereign nation like they're supposed to be, it's going to take but everyone to get together as one. The camp was set up, you know, because the pigs came down there and beat up Indian people, you know, for fishing and just for being there. And uh, so we had to, you know, protect ourselves. So we got a, our own police force or, you know, security guard or whatever you want to call it, you know, to protect the kids and the women and, and even the men, you know, that are in the camp from being harassed by the pigs. And, you know, we just, they're protecting our equipment like, you know, we stated we was going to do. And, you know, they came down with about three, five hundred pigs and started riding. He promised us gold, he promised us grain, he promised us houses safe from the rain. He said that his words could not be undone, but would last for as long as the river. Promises if you keep just one Let us fish for as long as the rivers run As long as the rivers run Where now are your promises You have stolen our home Want to fish by the river and live our own way. They are stronger than us with their courts and their jails, but the strength of the earth and the sky never fails. We've the power. The light of the sun And we'll live for as long as the rivers run As long as the rivers run From the 
oceans of ice to the desert of sand. Our people are gathering to rescue the land. Valerie, we promise the fight's just begun and will last for as long as the rivers run. As long as the rivers. Years of struggle, beatings, jails, thousands of dollars to Bale's bondsmen. And at the end of 1970, what was there to show for it? Actually, the Indians had made a couple of steps forward. They were winning a few cases in court. The state was finding it harder and harder to defend its policy of complete prohibition of net fishing on rivers. So the fishery department opened temporary Indian fishing season. Puyallup, Nisqually, Muckleshoot and Skokomish began to haul in record catches of silver salmon. But the fish buyers dropped their prices to as low as 10 cents a pound. Once again, the Indians found it necessary to get together. At Frank's Landing, they began buying fish from Indian fishermen at 40 cents a pound. Young Indians, some of whom had first got together on Alcatraz and had just been released on bond from the Tacoma jail, were now putting in long hours of cleaning and packing fish. Several tons were shipped to New York, Florida, San Francisco, where they could bring up to a dollar a pound. The Indian people here will, con you know, they'll be continuing on in the struggle until they do have their, you know, undisputed right you know, to fish for a livelihood. We have the Puyallup encampment on the Puyallup Indian Reservation, and we have the state of Washington coming in and dragging Indian people off Indian land and throwing them in jail for uh, three or four days with with these ridiculous high, ridiculously high bales. And, you know, the Indian people get this in their head. And, you know, like it's in my head that there's nobody going to stand up and fight for us. There's nobody we can look to but ourselves. And, and like, like, like we set up this, this uh, fish, fish processing project. Uh, we buy fish from nearby Indians right here on Frank's Landing. And this is to eliminate the middleman, to eliminate that other way of killing us by dropping the fish price when the fish are coming in the hardest, you know. And like we, we're bought, trying to buy them on a level where the Indian people can support themselves. Just like, you know, very soon there's the steelhead are going to be running in this river. And we're still going to be here fishing as we've always been, you know, like we've been in the past centuries. Uh, there's, like, I have a, a son that's going to keep on fishing even after I'm gone because he's a fisherman. It's his heritage. You know, we're just going to keep on fighting for as, as long as it takes. Once I was wild as the eagle in the sky Free to love and to live and to die I roam this land from the mountains to the sea. Brother to the elk, the bear and the deer. Up the rivers, the lakes and the redwood trees. This was my land as far as I could see. Had no jails nor prison farm, no barbed wire to do me harm. I paid no one to rule over me, no one owned the shade of the tree. I swam the ocean with a mighty shark. Played with the dolphin when the moon was dark. Come be as wild as the eagle in the sky. Free to love and to live and to die. We'll roam this land from the mountains to the sea. Brother to the elk, the bear and the deer. Up the rivers, the lakes, and the redwood trees We'll live 
together in harmony. Oh, yeah. 